Hey, how's it going? Z-Man and Tech here, and I want to thank you for tuning in to Snowy Games. As always, I appreciate you very much, and today I'm taking a look at a game called Carl, which is short for Computer Automated Resource Locator. <laughs> and it's actually a game by a uh, fellow YouTuber, um, a much more larger scope YouTuber that's uh, been doing it for a while. Um, his name, he goes by uh, Nintendrew. Um, I'll have a link to his channel uh, down in the uh, pinned comment and description if you want to check him out. Pretty awesome content. I've been watching him for quite some time. Um, uh, primarily Nintendo content, but uh, a lot of history lessons too, uh, with a lot of uh, pieces of gaming history that he tends to uh, review and talk about. Um, but yeah, without much further ado, we're going to hop into this, you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to play this uh, play his, his project, his game. So let's see, we got uh, just master volume and music volume. Okay. And we have an achievement system built into the game, which is awesome because, you know, unfortunately, uh, the Switch doesn't really have anything like trophies or achievements. So, you gotta, yeah, it's up to the developers to actually implement that, which is really cool that they do. Um, so that's much appreciated. All right. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, we're going to start a new file here. So this is like the uh, the reactivation of Carl here, it looks like. This may look all like gibberish to, to most that aren't into programming or coding, but uh, it, it, it really does look like um, it's, you know, I guess the activation booting processes of, uh, of a computer system here. So this is pretty cool. Okay, we are in here. You can shoot, you can hold it and it shoots at a particular rate or you can shoot a little faster by tapping, so. You can use joystick or D-pad for movement. Okay, so you can shoot with A or, uh, I'm using Y, I'm, I'm a little more accustomed to that, so. Looks like you can uh, jump with X and shoot with A, so you can kind of alternate if you need to. Um, I'm more comfortable with B and Y. B for jumping, Y for shooting, so. Okay. Ah. Just a little too high up to actually hit him. <laughs> Okay, we've got all three little uh, modules there, so I think we're good. Now there are, uh, this is a tutorial level, so obviously it's going to be a lot more uh, in-depth than that. a really long t uh, tunnel. <laughs> He's like, what the heck? This gotta feel awkward though. Like you just, I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's uh, go in here. No, no, no. Where could he be? Carl, you're back. You had me so worried. And you managed to bring the tech units. This may work after all. You're one resourceful little bot, huh? Ha. These will be invaluable to my research. And no doubt Kent will be set back uh, by the loss. 
Thank you, Carl. I know you may still be getting your bearings, but I must ask you to help me again. We have so little time. Please go back inside and see what more you can find. Anything. Everything. We have to do everything we can to slow this process. Uh, I hate to ask this of you after everything uh, you've been through, but please, will you help me? Uh, I wonder what happens if you say no. <laughs> or say yeah. Thank you, Carl. I'll get to work immediately. Uh, and we'll be here awaiting your return. And please, Carl, be safe. Alrighty. Okay. Let's drop down in there. It's nowhere near as uh, long of a sequence. They, they kind of shorten it after that, so. But it's, I guess they initially wanted you to know that it is a bit of a, you know, you're, you are pretty uh, deep into the ground there. Alert, intruder detected in waste management. Engaging target. Ah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the look on your face, though. Priceless. Heh, <laughs> I hope I didn't spook you too bad. Oh, right. The introduction. What's my line again? Hey, welcome to the dump. Ah, uh, yes. Welcome to the dump. That stands for Depot of Unusable Machinery and Parts. My name is Hal. I'm here to introduce you to our bustling uh, metropolis. Let me guess. Were you injured on the job? Replaced with a new model? Or did Kent just get tired of you? I've heard it all, kiddo. Everyone down here is a bot that was once down on their luck, just like yourself. But everyone finds a, a new life here on the dump. And I know you'll find, you'll feel right at home in no time. Why don't you check out the robo bar? Or maybe give Madame a visit at her tent. Okay. So this is like the hub world. Um, there's a few things you could do to like level up uh, Carl and things like that. Um, but say for instance, we uh, check out this little area here. Nice to meet you. I'm the free roaming automated repair technician. But folks down here call me Doc. <laughs> uh, fart. <laughs> I just realized what that's it. Uh, don't question it. <laughs> I'm the best mechanic in town, bar none. Come see me whenever you find some new modules you'd like to install. Or if you just need a routine tune-up. Okay, so if you uh, hit up here. Uh, so basically, once you start getting those modules... Um, you can tech unit up uh, locator reinforced chassis um, can't do anything right now of course so we're gonna back out all right come back when you're ready for an upgrade so this is one of the forms excuse me this is one of the forms of an upgrade uh, when you come uh, to meet the mechanic here or doc rather uh, let's see what we got Oh, that just takes us right back up there. Okay. There are a few areas you're not going to be able to get to just yet. So don't, you know, go crazy trying to do it because it's just not reachable yet. Okay. I, re you know, I really do like the uh, the nod to cave story over there. It's got got a picture of quote right over here. Just kind of chilling. <laughs> I thought it was really cool. Cave story is probably another one of my favorite platformer slash shooter games out there. Um. Hey pal, welcome to Robobar. Always happy to see new faces and old friends alike. What's your name again? Carl, is it? Welcome. What'll it be today, Carl? Okay, so I've got 76 scraps from that tutorial level. Um, basically what this is, is it changes your uh, your color scheme. Um, and if you ask for water, it'll be like, hey, are you crazy? You're gonna, you're gonna uh, cause an electrical shortage or something like that. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, you can do gray, Blueberry, tropical, uh, banana, and raspberry. Uh, I like blue, so I'm going to go with blueberry break juice. There we go. Yeah, blue's my color. 
Alright, and then you have uh, this jukebox over here. Hey, watch it. You can't just go pressing someone's buttons like that. The name's Duke. You new here? I feel like I've seen you before, but these old sensors aren't what they used to be. I'm a great singer. Well, I was. The boss got himself one of those MP3 players, threw me out. I guess some folks just don't appreciate the classics. But hey, things could be worse. Got myself a nice gig here at the Rubble Bar. Always a silver lining. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Got some arcades down here. Hi, my name is Arpa. I'm the arcade repair and programming android. I'm working on a new game right now. Come check it out later if you're interested. I'm definitely interested. <laughs> Alright, so anywho. Um, let's see what else we can show off here before we jump into the next couple levels. Well, the first two levels. All right, this is the uh, Madame's tent. Uh, she's a basically a seer, or like a fortune teller. Um, if you're lost, she'll kind of basically tell you, you know, uh, what to do next for a fee. All right, here is the next area where you can do upgrades. Hey, who let you in? Oh, you're that Carl fellow, aren't you? Uh, pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm Sarge. Don't be surprised we've got eyes and ears all over the factory, son. Had a feeling you might stop by. Word around the dump is you're looking to stick it to, stick it to the man. The man, of course, means Kent, our good-for-nothing creator. Listen, kid. We're a part of a very elite task force with a goal of dethroning Kent for good. We'll be happy to lend a hand to your efforts in any way we can, provided you do a little espionage for us. Looking for an upgrade, son? Metals? Zero. Okay, so basically, uh, it takes a metal. Well, the first, the first, uh, uh, basically unlocks you can get to, uh, increase either the rate of fire, shot speed, or shot power takes one metal, and then, uh, they pretty much require additional, you know, amounts as you level up stuff, so dismissed come back when you need some more firepower okay so yeah well um oh, i didn't see this person over here let's see sorry i'm very busy listening for incoming transmissions no time to talk okay cool pretty cool all right so uh other than that that's pretty much all you can really do right now per se um there's a lot more stuff you can do later um but yeah we're gonna go ahead and go to these levels here uh, there's this creepy person that's posing as a robot. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to talk to them right now, but I'll, la I'll leave that uh, for you to uh, kind of explore. All right, so we have three. So that means we can unlock the first area. Carl, wait up. Whoa there, buddy. Are you sure you want to go poking around the factory floor? There are tons of dangerous robots that are still loyal to, the to Kent out there, you know. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. If you're dead on... If you're dead set on making a difference, I won't stop you. Be safe out there, friend. But yeah, it just basically kind of gives you a warning that it's about to get real. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. There, as you can see, there's a few items to collect in the level, and it does time you. Uh, my... My... Uh, I would say my advice would be to, would be to uh, collect all the items that, you know, that, that are in the level and then try to get a faster time later. Once you know where everything is, you know, that that's really gonna be uh, more beneficial to you trying to get a better time. Uh, I don't know if there's a, a particularly a, um, a par time or not, but you know, that's, uh, or if you get anything for it, but you know, it's really it's really more so all about getting the, the collectibles because of the the fact that it lets you level up so it's it's really encouraged to uh go ahead and do that oh god okay so he doesn't hurt you he just pushes you which could be catastrophic <laughs> i'm not sure what's down there this one's gonna be rather tough to get we're gonna try nice So this game has uh, the kind of jumping feature where the longer you hold it, 
the higher you jump. So keep that in mind. And then the shorter you, the shorter time frame you hold, press it, press and hold it. You uh, you do a short hop. So, all right. Found a music disc. Bring it to Duke at the Robo Bar to give it a listen. Okay. Oh, there's a right, right into him. Jeez. But it's pretty, it's pretty generous on the amount of health they give you, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Okay, I don't think we're supposed to go through there yet until we kill that air, so it's probably gonna insta kill us. <laughs> I mean, those, uh, those little discus that you saw, of course, are your uh, checkpoints, so it's pretty. Uh, there, there isn't really a live system, so it's pretty lenient on, uh, on that sort of a thing. You know, you got checkpoints and as many tries as you need to so I think that's pretty fair with these kind of games you know it used to be so rough back in the day okay so this is your money so you want to collect as many of this stuff as you can okay all right we haven't opened that up yet find the exit. Uh, there's something down there we need, I think. Uh, I forgot how to open that, though. I think there is an area where you can uh, go down a little bit. That I might have missed. Let's see. And when you pass, every time you pass the disc, it, it'll, uh, it'll save the game. Oh, God. <laughs> so it's a good thing I passed it. Um... I'm just trying to make sure I got everything. Like I said, like I said, I'm not too worried about the time, so. What I'm worried about is getting everything. Oh, okay. You can't go back after a certain point. Okay, well. That's good to know. I don't want to fall down for... Well, I guess we can. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Alright, so there is a button where those lights are. You just have to fall directly into it. So yeah, this is... If anything, this will help you out once you start playing and trying to find everything. Um, but yeah, again, I'm not too worried about, you know failing and all that stuff right now just more or less trying to trying to find out how to oh okay so we got to figure out how to get back up once we do that that's the, that's the next thing Oh, there it is. I see. Nice. Okay. Cool stuff. All right, so now that, that area at the top should be open, pending we can get back there. <laughs> Got to get back there and get to a checkpoint. That's the next goal. Yeah, getting a checkpoint first, of course. Much easier once you've defeat once you've dispatched all the enemies. Here we go. I'm pretty sure the time is out of this world right now. It's taking me to do this, but <laughs> again, gotta figure out where everything is first. Here we go. It is open now. Okay. It looks like something's down there the purpose but let's just go where the obvious stuff is oh I see this is where we were oh that okay so I wasn't supposed to to make that jump apparently <laughs> I did it the hard way well okay makes me feel a little better about my situation but that's how you do it though the easier way is to hit that switch along the way that way when you get there you can just go straight down the pipe and just drop right on that uh little module piece 
But yeah, to get to the to beat the level, you just get to that little uh, thing. Oh, I missed a medal. Okay. Hmm. I'm I'm not even sure where I missed that at. Oh, we'll have to figure it out later. <laughs> um. But yeah, I don't really. I could take that disc to uh to Duke, but I'm like, I just want to show you the next level, kind of move forward with this. All right, we've got seven of these little modules now. I like the little soundtrack, it's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, we got one way up there. I probably can't get that to the end. Oh, jeez, I think it almost shot me. Oh, okay. What we got here? Found a health module. Bring it back to Doc's uh, workshop to increase your max HP. Okay, now that's something worth uh, worth um, you know bringing over. You know, I'll definitely do that. Um, I don't think it's supposed to go through the wall like that. Oh. Doc's trading card. Bring it back to Doug. Okay. Okay. So it must have opened something down here. Oh, this area over here. Okay. short hop that one otherwise you will inst get insta death there <laughs> ah still hurt me oh there's a metal let's go oh maybe it was inside of a box like like this one is I don't know I could be wrong but come on I think we gotta go from the very bottom there we go okay so we hit the switch. And that should have opened the gate over here. But realistically, it's the modules that you need uh, to uh, advance through the game. So, notice it's posted on the wall. Listen up, work bots. Don't go recklessly jumping into lava. If you're not heat resistant, just hitch a ride with someone who uh, who is. Our lava res uh, reserves are starting to get gunked up with metal. Do your part to stop pollution. Wow. <laughs> with love management. That is dark. Oh, God. Okay, I almost got crushed. All right. So. It's a neat little game. This is, this is pretty cool. It's not just a standard pr platformer. You know, you have like... A lot of you know, a little comedy in there, and uh, like things to actually go back and do. I think, I think it's pretty cool. All right, we got all three modules, and then there's that special one at the end there. Um, I'm not sure of their pattern, but I definitely don't want to get crushed by that. Oh man, that was awful. I've been stuck in there for weeks. Thanks for bailing me out, broski. See you around. Okay, cool. Looks like it stopped the uh, conveyor belt too. Thanks again, dude. See you back at the dump. Okay. Pretty cool. We'll save that. Get back to work. Oh, that looks like something I can go up into. Hey, let's go. I like finding new areas in games like this. Okay. Got a music disc. I don't know if it's going to be like old school Mario where you can just run across that, so I'm going to play it safe on that. <laughs> Oh, 
Alright, so I think we have to fall into this. Oh, yes. Bonus one. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Oh, we found everything. Let's go. There we go. I just wish I could find that metal on the <laughs> on the first level. Hey, you found one of those Sar Sarge's medals. Uh, be sure to take it to Armory at the top of the dump. They can upgrade your weapon if you uh, have enough scrap. I'm pretty sure I got enough scrap here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Oh, there's your boy right there. Alright, so let's go. Since it's on this side, I'm going to go ahead and do the Armory first. Loving this chip tune, man. Pretty cool. All right, looking for an upgrade. Looking for an upgrade, son? Yeah, we're gonna do shot power. Wendy, 10 hut. We've got a work order. I'm on it, Sarge. Uh, one upgrade coming up. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I don't know why I give it that sound effect. All right, all done. Affirmative. Upgrade complete. So shot power has been upgraded. You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get that health module. Raise our HP real quick. All right, let's get you fixed up. Cool. Install health modules are free. We take those. Shiny new health module. Got four, four uh, wrenches now, so we're, we're doing pretty good. But anywho, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I just kind of wanted to give you a taste of the game, let you know what to expect. It's a cute little... Uh, little platformer with like a lot going on like there's a lot of things you could do um I, I like that a lot it's like a living breathing little world here uh and the idea to use a hub was a really good idea i think it's it, it really pieces it together pretty well um but yeah nintendo uh this is a uh, this is a uh, pretty awesome you know, this is pretty it's an impressive feat and uh like I'm, I'm an indie developer myself and i haven't really got around to uh finishing the couple of games that i'm working on right now just yet um i have a lot of other things going on because i'm actually a, a composer for a, a game dev company called extend mode so um working on working on something they got something brewing uh for next year um but they've already announced that there's going to be a sequel and i'll go ahead and say it it's a eight drag eight dragons to be on the lookout for that um but yeah i'll be doing the soundtrack for a good bit of it and then uh there's a few other uh, composers that are working on it as well for uh, other aspects and boss themes and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, uh, Nintendo. Um, just kind of wanted to you know uh, shed some light on this game for those that haven't heard about it yet. You know that aren't familiar with Nintendo's channel and you know everything he's got going on. But uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna leave it there. And if you like what you saw, definitely like, comment, subscribe. Remember to keep it locked to Snow League Games for all of your indie game, third-party game, tech review coverage, and sometimes Nintendo and retro games thrown in the mix. All right? Y'all have a good one. Take care. Futuristic classic. The futuristic classic. Time is of the essence. I feel like I have mastered. Futuristic classic. The futuristic classic. It's always moving forward, so I'm never moving backwards.